well. Nate can't seem to stop coughing. I don't know what it is. Got some allergy issues. Allergies are really bad right now. Last couple days I've had this cough, so this morning we sit down and <laughs> I'm hacking away. I'm we did have a hen come in, but she was more nervous than anything. And Lord molasses. Anyways, um, yeah. So now we're kind of boot scooting and boogieing, trying to find a bird, see if we can find one in our permission. Eating animal crackers for breakfast. Yeah. This morning didn't pan out like we wanted it to. The place we started, it was just super windy. It was one of those spots where either it happens right away or it really doesn't happen. And this morning was one of their, those mornings where it really didn't happen. Um, then we tried to put the sneak on one with diesel, and um, they just kind of boogied the other way and didn't want anything to do with it. So now, well, after that, we went home, made breakfast, <laughs> took a nap. And now we're back at it um, for the afternoon. We only got till about five o'clock to hunt tonight, but um, we're gonna walk around and see if we can't find a dumb one that's willing to give us some attention. Well here we are folks, morning of day two. Nate's having a little breakfast so he can shoot straight. I'm frustrated. I haven't missed a turkey in all my years of turkey hunting so far, and I did it this morning. I missed one at about 25 yards. <laughs> he did it perfect. <laughs> he come right in. Uh, he come like behind us or whatever, and he came quick. I still had my gun in my lap, and he went to fan out one more time, and I tried to raise my gun, and he kind of bugged out. So we, yeah. I, I straight up missed him. I don't know. There's, I, I straight up <laughs> missed him. I'm pissed. I, yeah. But we gotta try again, I guess, and see if we can't get another one to do the same damn thing that one did. Wish us luck. <laughs>
we set up. and gobble over like this way <laughs> to the south and um, we figured we got closer we cut the distance probably in half and um, he started sounding closer and closer <laughs> and we laid down in this like grass ship that we're in right now and he crested the hill we could see his fan right away and he's just started moving towards us um, and all of a sudden I hear some cutting and yelping and all this I look to the my left and there's a hen five steps from our decoy, which is literally three yards from us. Left. And so she was close, she was doing her thing. He was gobbling, he was, you know, you can hear it on the video, she was cutting and purring and everything, and he was just loving every minute of it. Um, she started moving right in front of us, and I heard another yelp, little cuts and whatnot. I look back, and there's another hen, like literally rubbing feathers with our decoy. I couldn't believe it. There's two hens within three steps. We'll show you just in a minute, but they ended up, the hens ended up working away, and he came, and the closest he got was like 45, 50. And I mean, we're late in this tall grass. We figured that a shot in the dark was worth no shot, you know, better than no shot. And so I, I pulled up and I got real steady on him and pulled the trigger, and he did not fold, so there's not much he can do. <laughs> tough season. I, uh, yeah, yeah. So far it's been tough. Hopefully we can catch a break here soon, but I've been kind of on a bumpy stretch. He's had the bad and the worst luck. <laughs> oh well, though. I guess that's why they call it hunting, not killing. So, it's going to stay after it. And I guess we'll show you where the pens are. They were literally, so I'll sit where we were. Okay, so we're just Tom was raised out there. Wait, let me show you. There's the decoy. decoy. The closest they got was... <laughs> Go out there. Two, four, five, five yards. yards. Right here. I mean, right. bring the camera out here and look where we're going Right here. And we were laying in the Get down the <laughs> like this. Peeking through the grass. <laughs> and that Tom was right out there. I mean, 50 yards. Nothing we could do about it, but <laughs> but it was pretty good, pretty pretty cool hunts, anyways.
Schmuck doesn't know what's going on. Well, we got her done this morning. Um, pretty awesome hunt. Oh, sheesh. Go out. So we got a bird. So from where I was sitting, so this, well, okay, start from the beginning. This morning I set up on the two toms that I saw last night. And I thought they were roosted, like, behind me. But they were then they ended up roosting like in front of me, and so I I heard maybe two gobbles this morning, and um, all of a sudden, like a half hour ago, uh, two birds lit up really close to me, and I um, was just ecstatic because I hadn't heard much all morning. I was kind of discouraged, but um, these two toms come right across right across this field and. I, I got them on video the whole way, I got the shot, and I, yeah, it couldn't have went any better, self-filming this morning, uh, we got her done. So I'm standing in the decoys right now, and I was right in, oh my goodness gracious, I was right in that cedar tree where my shotgun is. That's a pretty awesome hunt, couldn't be happier, peace out.